week's safety tip is rarely found in self-help books or even modern medical journals. It's a condition that does not discriminate against gender, race, age, religion, or even political party. As a result, I want to take this time to talk seriously about the often overlooked subject of citric fluoride cross-contamination. I have spent the better part of five minutes extensively and exhaustively surfing the internet and my studies show that we need to take this seriously. What is citric fluoride cross-contamination, you may ask? Let me put it in layman's terms so that even I can understand it. I'm talking about drinking orange juice immediately following brushing your teeth. Now do I have your attention? Hmm? I know this topic is often considered taboo, but I don't care. It's time someone took a stand. If that someone has to be me, then so be it. There have been far too many tragic tales of people waking up late and finding themselves rustling around the house and whatnot, being all late for school and work and stuff, when carelessly they brush their teeth and then they drink orange juice. It's time we put an end to this. The adverse reactions are not pretty. It's time we as a nation educate ourselves and raise awareness worldwide about this common mishap. My fellow Americans, I want you to be aware of the consequences of drinking orange juice immediately after brushing your teeth. I want you to be aware so that if you notice a loved one experiencing any of the following symptoms, you can perhaps administer first aid and potentially save a life. I'm sure the one question looming in all your minds right now is, what are these symptoms? That's a really great question and one that I'm prepared to answer at this time. Now, here is number one. Whiplash from sinking your head violently because of the nasty taste. Two, doing the oh yuck, that tastes horrible, herky jerky, zipper dance. And three, your taste buds could become temporarily paralyzed. <laughs> so, the next time you find yourself